And welcome back to Upper Michigan Today. T and I are talking with Kristen Underhill from the, the uh, Crystal Theater in Crystal Falls. And you have a big show coming up very soon, don't you? We do. We've got uh, Forever Fab, which is a Beatles tribute coming up next weekend. So what, what can we expect from that show? Oh my goodness, they're going to take us from the British Invasion through the Magical Mystery Tour. So expect a lot of costume changes, not only for them, but for me. <laughs> okay, so like the Eras Tour, but for the Beatles. Absolutely, absolutely. It's going to be fun. How, how do you find a group like this? How do you, how do you find shows you want to book? Well, my email box explodes on a daily basis. <laughs> so we, I have agencies that email me, plus my patrons when I sit out at the local pubs or restaurants will say, um, I really want to hear this type of music. So then I go out and I find it. Um, so my days are spent looking at sizzle reels, and then you go explore YouTube, and you go, okay, so this is what the sizzle reel looks like, and then you go and look what a live concert looks for them. And then you compare, and then you go back to their eight booking agent, and you're like, I want to explore this. And then you read their rider and see if it's a match, not only for the theater, but with the community. How are ticket sales going for this show? Really well, but we still have tickets, so if you're interested okay. in coming, come on down. Oh. Do, you, do you draw from, I'm sure, beyond Crystal Falls? Absolutely, Probably we Iron do. County, Dickinson County, maybe yeah. in Northeast Wisconsin. We do, and for our Legend concert um, last year, well, we had Crystal Gale, so we had people coming from all over. And then for Ozark this year, we had people from all over because they have a following like Grateful Dead or Fish. How, how did this past season go, by the way? I mean, you only have two shows left. How many shows do you typically do in a season? Twelve. Twelve? Yep. And what's, what's the, the audience like? Do you typically sell out of those shows? It depends on the show. We seat 535. Mm -hmm. um, we had some close to sellouts, like our Blues Brothers, we had um, close to 400, actually over 400. Um, Journey, we had close to 400. So those are really good sellers. Um, beginning of the season with the weather, it was a little questionable <laughs> <laughs> with everything. Um, but anytime we get over 100, 200 people, that's a really good show for us. I would love to see more. So if you're interested in the theater, come on down. I, I assume you work with a board? I do. I have a nine member board, um, plus a whole team of volunteers. Okay. And do they get involved in this process? They do. They do. Decide? I have a programming committee. So when we meet and we look at the reels, I pro propose a season with the committee and then we bring it to the board for a full, full board approval. Okay. Now you have a background in theater. Do, do. You, do you ever find that, that what, what you're looking to present at the Crystal <laughs> Theater might be different uh, than the, the community's wants and desires? How do, how do you mix those together? It is, it's a fine balance because I'm a Gen Xer, so it's sometimes it's I want to do all of these things and I'm going, okay, well, my community wants to hear this. So it's a fine dance. Mm -hmm. So you have to have every something that appeases everyone. Um, we have to have the, something for the classical lovers and then we have to have something that'll bring something in and then we have we have a legend that we bring in. So the legend is the big concert that kind of is the peak of this season and that's our best kept secret. <laughs> <laughs> and Oh, I was going to say, we have some information we can get up on the screen about the remaining two shows. So the Forever Fab, yep. that's that uh, Beatles, Beatles tribute, tribute that you were talking yep. about. Where did that, where's that band coming from? Uh, I think they're out of Vegas. Oh, wow. So expect some big, big production. So you're drawing uh, bands from way out of yes. town for this. Yes. And then you have the Red Elvis, Elvises. <laughs> I'm assuming that's going to be kind of an Elvis tribute. No. No. No, that is completely left field. Okay, so, so that, that like caught me off guard. Yes, they are Siberian surf rock. Really? <laughs> so it's kind of, how would I describe it? The Beach Boys, but with some really interesting guitar riffs. Huh. Have you heard of Dick Dale? No, I haven't. Okay, so if you um, d Google Dick Dale, mm -hmm. it is amazing guitar riffs. So if you take um, Rockabilly, Dick Dale, and the Beach Boys, that's what you're going to expect. Interesting. Yeah. So it sounds like you have a real <laughs> mixed bag of uh, events happening at the Crystal Theater. <laughs> Completely. It is, it is amazing. It is an amazing balance. We started with kind of this Celtic bluegrass, mm -hmm. and then we're going to end with Siberian surf rock. Very <laughs> interesting. Do you, do you have to do uh, other fundraising to keep, we, keep the theater operating? Well, we try. We run on grants, the grace of God, and volunteers. Okay. Do you have memberships? No, but we okay. have su season subscri subscriptions. That's really hard to say. Okay. Um, we s at the beginning of the season, we will sell uh, Gem of a Season passes, and then we introduce something this year called a Flex Pass, which is four tickets, um, and you can use them in any combination, um, as long as they're to the Gem concert. So you can use them two, two, and two. No. Yeah, two and two, three, three, three and one, one, one and one. 
as long as they're to a gym uh, concert. So you really depend on on selling tickets to keep Absolutely. The, keep the organization going. Absolutely. All righty. So it helps to keep the lights on. Yeah. So we do have to take another break, but then when we come back, we'll uh, recap uh, where you can get your tickets, how and how you can get involved in the theater. Maybe some volunteer positions that might be interesting for you. Okay.